In this video, we show the complete installation process of OpenKM. In OpenKM.com, we go to the download section. We need to have already installed at least the Java JDK 1.8 and we download the installer. If we have not the JDK installed, we go ahead with downloading and installing it. The Java JDK is a prerequisite necessary to run the installer. We select the proper version, this time Windows 64 bits. Now we have available the installer and we run the JDK. Thanks to the installer's wizard, we follow the steps until we finish the installation of Java in this PC. Once the installation procedure has finished, we move the installer to the unit C. And we run the terminal in administrator mode. We check that the Java version is installed. And now we will run the installer. For it, we run this command. Sometimes we can find the error message that says that the Java Home environment is missing. We proceed to configure in the variables of the system the Java Home variable. For it, we go to the variables of the operating system environment and we write the Java Home root. That in this case is this. We close the terminal. And we open it again to check if the environment variable that we just defined is available. And we run the installer again. It will request the database that we will use. For production environments, we suggest MySQL. We accept the rest of values and we start the installation procedure. The wizard will request several data, in this example the database, the host, the database name, the user and the password's user. The installer automatically will download all the files necessary to complete the installation. First, it downloads the Tomcat. After, it downloads a series of extra files. And finally, it will download the version of the application. Once this procedure is completed, we have to install the database if we have not it already installed.
in this case we have to establish that it will be a MySQL database. So we download its executable file. To proceed with the database installation. The installer sh will show us a wizard. In this case, we will install all the components. We will install the workbench that is the client to access to the database. And we will accept step by step the installation wizard. We will install the server of the database. In this case, we will install it in a server machine. And we can see how the configuration changes are applied. We have finished with the database installation. Now we access to it with the client to create the OpenVM database. The installation script of the terminal provides us with a series of SQL commands that we have to use to create the database and the user. We run these commands. Here we see the database just created. And now we will proceed to start OpenKM as a service. We will have a Tomcat service. We launch this service. We have the application running. And we can log in the application. The application is installed in C unit colon Tomcat hyphen seven dot zero dot sixty one. Here we have the application installed and inside the extras.